what I find is um, that um, every time when you look at teams, people, and we're all guilty of it, we do all tend to look at people and judge them, right? We can't help it. We're, we all come with a certain bias when we look at people um, based on our backgrounds. So you might look at somebody who maybe doesn't look overly fit and we might make an assumption that, oh, they're really not, they don't look like they're really that fit. Or maybe because of the way they dress, they look like somebody who maybe prefers being in the city and going to fine restaurants than roughing it, rolling up their sleeves and getting stuck into a challenge that might be happening on a farm. And sometimes it's because those are the only clues that we're given at that time. Like we're judging them on what they are wearing or maybe how they introduce themselves. And you're going to see that with a lot of teams where you're just going to make the assumption that maybe they're not a team that would be very good at practical things. Then you find out that they literally can do everything. We have one team who, I'll tell you, <laughs> Ricky and Cesar, when they rock up, I'm, I'm, they're, first of all, they're just like so vivacious and so, um, bubbly and enthusiastic about being on the show. I have to be honest with you. When I first saw them, I'm like, they probably love, they probably love shopping and traveling and traveling in, in luxury. I mean, it's just, it's just my opinion, but man, when they got out on the race, they just, whatever they tackled, they approached it in a way that just, I think, shocked everybody where they just were able to tack nothing phased them you know like and then there are other teams where they've they've got quite a big physical presence and you just make the assumption that they're going to be really good at big physical things and then you realize well actually no they're not really as good as another team with physical things so i, th I think that's the beauty of of the race is that it's impossible to tell who's going to be good at what and it is a reminder that you should not judge a book by its cover, that you really need to wait, be patient and see how people are in the real world and not judge them too early, which we all tend to do with everybody. Right. I mean, it's just human nature. I love it. Yeah. It's one of my favorite parts of the show because we take we take a few bets, you know, just fun bets for a dollar <laughs> on who we're going to who we think is going to do well and who's going to be there at the end. and. We, we are rarely anywhere close to being right because, you know, we know what's ahead. We know what they're going to be doing. And we make certain assumptions about who's going to do well at, at particular things. And inevitably, we're wrong.